You can also test if a value is of a particular data type using try. And I think it uses the toString method to kind of make it into a string and then it examines the string to find the type or something like that. I'm not really too sure how it works. So the type of method, what you do is you have a value, which I guess in this case, it's this um, Ivan string right here, so it's the person's name. Then the second argument you give the type, and the type is a string with the type that you want the value to be. And finally, um, what we can do is give an error message to be displayed when this fails. So this will pass if the type of the value is equal to this type string right here. So if we run this now, we can see it fails because it says the value is not a number and we, we wanted it to be a number and it's expected this string here to be a number. So the way we can make this test pass is if we just simply change this number right here to string. So now this type here is a string. We run this, we can see that this test passes because this Ivan here is of type string. Um, what I can also do is I can change this to age and then I can change this to number. And if I run this, we can see that that passes. Or uh, what I can do is I can give favorite foods here, which is this favorite foods array right here. And this needs to be a type array. So if we run that as well, we can see that it passes. Now, the uh, opposite method to this is the not type of method. And uh, I have to be careful with capitals here. That also takes in a value and a type. And what it does is it checks it makes sure that it, re it it returns, it passes basically when the uh, value is not of that type and it can be any other type. So if I run this right now, it will fail because um, this value right here, the favorite foods is an array. So this will fail and it even says here um, expected and then the this array to not be an array. Um, Again, the way I can make this pass is if I just give it another ty data type here. So if I put string, for example, and I run this, we can see that all the tests have passed. Now, if I put um, object here as well, and I run this, we can see that all the tests have passed. So the, only, the way to pass the not type of is if you give it um, a value and then a type string, which is not of the same type as the value. So let's have a look at the challenge now. So we're in unit test.js and um, we're, at the, we're down here now in challenge 17. So the first one we have um, the value that we're testing is this my car right here. And my car is this like new car constructor here which creates this object right here. And it tests if this car is an object. And we know that this car, my car is an object, so we can run the um, type of method and we know that this will pass. And the second one we have the, the model field of my car and we're checking if it's a string. And if we look up here, we can see that um, it indeed is a string. So we know that this will also pass. Next we have uh, my airplane and the wings field. And if we look at my airplane and the wings field, we can see that it's a number because it's a number of wings. Um, but if we scroll down to here, it's it's testing if it's a type string. And we know that this will fail if we give it a type of because a type of this wings field is not a string, it's a number. So we want to give this to um, not type of. Next we have um, the engines field of the airplane wing. And as you can see here, we have this array of two strings left and right. And um, the test here, is we have a type string of array. So we know that this engines field is an array. So if we give this a type of, this will pass. Finally, we have the wheels field of my car. And uh, we can see here that it's a number and it's four. And what it's doing here is it's testing that the wheels field of my car is a number. And we know that this is the case. So if we want this to pass, we can give it to type of. So that should be all of them now. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, submit that and see what happens. So if I paste that in now, yeah, we can see that, yeah, the tests have passed, so we're good to go.